are working on a better bus ride across the North Valley and have a progress update on the North San Fernando Valley Transit Corridor project. Metro has a plan to make it easier to get around. An important part of that plan is better transit, especially bus improvements. We know that many people in the North Valley depend on public transportation, now more than ever, and rely on Metro buses for their daily travel needs. Along with our next-gen bus plan improvements in the North Valley, the North San Fernando Valley Transit Corridor Project complements other Metro efforts to improve transportation, including the East San Fernando Valley Light Rail, North Hollywood to Pasadena Transit Corridor, G-Line Orange Improvements Project, and Metro Microservice. The North San Fernando Valley Transit Corridor Project will add bus rapid transit to the area, which is faster and more reliable than regular bus service. We have an update on an exciting new direction for this project, but before we get to that, let's cover a bit of history about how we got here. The North San Fernando Valley BRT project kicked off with technical work starting in 2017, followed by an alternatives analysis that started in 2018. During this phase, we conducted community meetings in Northridge, Panorama City, and North Hollywood. We also partnered with the NextGen effort to collect comments in conjunction with their outreach events. To date, we've received over 4,500 comments, which we've considered in developing this project. Many of the comments focused on serving Cal State Northridge with faster transit service and the importance of dedicated bus lanes and station amenities along the line. We also received comments about potential impact that BRT could have on traffic, parking, and neighborhoods. In October 2019, the Metro Board received the final Alternatives Analysis Study and in response to community feedback directed additional study of integration with NextGen and key equity considerations. From there, Metro took a step back to take a more holistic look at how to improve transit service in this area. Continuing with the single-line BRT approach we previously studied, we looked at connecting CSUN to the Metro B-Line, or red, and G-Line, or orange, via enhanced bus service on Reseda, Roscoe, and Lancashire. However, in this approach, some of the North Valley neighborhoods were overserved, while others with significant ridership were neglected. Furthermore, adding a single-line BRT route didn't complement the reimagined next-gen bus network. So in addition to this initial single line approach, we also took a step back and looked at how to enhance and better complement the network that Metro's next gen bus plan was putting forward. This led us to our second approach, which we call the network approach. We believe the network approach better meets our equity goals and helps us get better bus service on the ground sooner. And it is what Metro is recommending for this project. What does the network approach look like? In the network approach, we don't focus on a single line, but rather improvements for the entire North Valley area, adding enhancements to existing bus service in the North Valley that riders are already using. This allows us to better serve all bus riders in this area, rather than only along one corridor. Next-gen increased bus service on Nordoff and Roscoe, which will be enhanced to 10-minute headways through signal priority on Nordoff and peak hour bus lanes on Roscoe. This network approach includes five enhanced stations at Roscoe and Reseda, the CSUN Transit Center, Nordoff and Lindley, the two future East San Fernando Valley light rail connections, Roscoe and Van Nuys, and Nordoff and Van Nuys. Other enhancements include quieter zero emission buses, bus shelters, as well as 80 bus bulbs along six different streets. Bus bulbs extend the sidewalk at bus stops across the first road lane to improve street safety and accessibility while also reducing bus delays. Because this network approach adds improvements to more routes, it also allows us to bring better bus service to more people, especially those who we prioritize serving. And we can implement all of this quicker. We will begin delivering improvements in late 2022 and have them all in place by 2025, which is 18 to 24 months sooner than the original single line approach. We'll be holding public meetings to provide more details on this revised approach and hear your comments. 
This will also help us to prepare for the next steps in advancing this project. From there, Metro will prepare and finalize design plans for bus-only lanes along Roscoe and work with the City of LA on implementing bus shelters and other infrastructure and street improvements. We want to hear from you. Please join us to learn more about the project at an upcoming meeting and on our website. There are many ways you can share your comments with us.